My name is Jim Boone. I'm the collection manager in the Division of Insects, and we're going to take a look at the Strecker collection today. Herman Strecker was born in 1836 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The son of a German immigrant, he pursued sculpting as a career. However, Strecker also had an intense interest in Lepidoptera, the order of insects that includes butterflies and moths. As an amateur naturalist, Strecker acquired thousands of moth and butterfly specimens. The Field Museum purchased Strecker's collection in 1908 for $15,000. After three months of packing and preparation, it was brought by train to Chicago under the supervision of the museum's first curator of entomology, William Gerhard. The Herman Strecker collection includes over 50,000 specimens from all over the world. Over 14,000 species are represented, and the collection also includes 250 species that were first described by Strecker. These specimens are in the family Hepialidae and are from Australia. They are the largest Hepialids we have in our collection. Most moths fly at night, but there are a group of moths that fly during the daytime called day flying moths. These colorful specimens are in the family Aranidae. The common name for them are swallowtail moths because of the resemblance to swallowtail butterflies. Over here we have a group of butterflies that is commonly called dead leaf butterflies. The underside of the wings have dark leaf-like veins and scattered dots that look like fungus that is common on dead leaves in the tropics. Scientists from around the world are still interested in studying the butterflies and moths that Herman Strecker diligently collected over a century ago. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for joining me on this tour through the Hermes Strecker Collection.